Dude, it's crazy how much how much better Portugal looked with Ramos as opposed yeah. to Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. Like Absolutely, it's insane, dude. dude. Absolutely. Night and day. Like the, yeah. the team just 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 like a just just well oiled machine. And, and it looks yeah. like you, you almost people were going into that round of sixteen not knowing what to expect, not, thinking that Portugal could very well exit here. Yeah. And then now it's like all of a sudden you wake up, you see this team <laughs> refreshed with Ramos at the top, and they're, they're almost like a contender now. Like oh shit, mm-hmm. Portugal might be able to win this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. No, yeah, I, I was just going to say it's a, it might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I feel like aside from Euro 2016, I feel like Ronaldo's just kind of held back Portugal. Like 2019. Well, in, in what way? I, I, I feel like he's always uh, like the target man, uh, despite him not being able to score that much. Like I, I remember the, the Portugal-Uruguay game. It just felt like they were only relying on him in 2018, I mean. Mm. Um, yeah. And the same thing pretty much the entirety of 2014. 